Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Top of the morning to you, East Alabama and West Georgia. Happy Tuesday. Time now for your primetime forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Ducos, your local Alpha agent. Be sure you click that link at the top of this video to get that cost-free, no-obligation insurance quote from Jamie Ducas. Also, make your plans to join us in downtown Roanoke October 29th for the 14th annual Fall on Main Street Festival. We get underway at 8.30, the Dr. Don Road Show is going to be there. We're going to have a ton of fun. I want to make sure you make your plans to join us for the 14th Annual Fall on Main Street. Also, don't forget to head over to YouTube and be sure that you subscribe to our channel. It's free. And then make sure you click that little bell. So that when we go live for severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that push notification. Your convective outlook, storm convective outlook uh, from the Storm Prediction Center today showing a marginal risk for severe weather back up to our northwest. And then maybe a few rumbles of thunder across the Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, northwest Florida Gulf Coast. And then down there across southern Florida as well. Then as we head toward Wednesday, look there. We have a marginal risk of severe weather across a good portion of Tennessee, Mississippi, north and central Alabama, back up across northwest Georgia. This is going to be from a cold front that will dive down from the northwest on Wednesday. Could see some strong thunderstorms. I don't think this is going to be a red letter severe weather outbreak day, uh, but a strong rogue severe thunderstorm from time to time cannot be ruled out, especially right along that cold front. The one limiting factor may be the rain that breaks out well in advance of the cold front may keep the atmosphere a little stable as the main energy moves in late in the afternoon. We'll see how that's going to play out uh, as we go throughout the day. But it'd be one of those days you're going to want to be weather aware just in the event that we do have uh, some severe weather and some strong thunderstorms on your Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. Then as we head toward Thursday, all this stuff moves out early. I know it's still showing rain there, but that's in the pre-dawn hours, maybe up till around 7 or 8 a.m. Uh, I think by mid-morning, uh, it's certainly by noon on Thursday, we start to see the sun and we clear out nicely by Thursday afternoon beautiful stretch of days headed into next weekend and then there are some indications that we may be about to see some of the coldest air so far this season uh, by next Tuesday or Wednesday we could be looking at daytime highs are you ready for this in the 50s by next Wednesday about a week from tomorrow we'll see how that works out as we head toward uh, that time frame so let's take a look at the tropics this morning uh, we do have one little area of disturbance there in the bay of campeche uh, this is a piece of energy that broke off from julia that's now uh, downgraded of course and out in the pacific uh, but this is going to cause a lot of rain down there in the southwest gulf of mexico uh, remains to be seen if it gets caught up with this cold front that's coming down across Alabama tomorrow. Uh, if it does, it'll be well to the southwest. Don't think it's going to have much of an impact at all in the rain rates, uh, but it will be interesting to watch and see what happens. Uh, though I don't think this particular area is going to have any impact on our weather across East Alabama or West Georgia. Current conditions at the East Alabama Bee Company, 51 degrees. The high yesterday was 74. We have clear skies this morning. Wind out of the north-northeast uh, gusting to about 5 miles per hour occasionally. Humidity is 88%. The barometric pressure, 30.26. No rain the past 24 hours. Hopefully that'll change. Uh, sunrise at 6.41 a.m. Sunsets at 6.14 p.m. this evening. This afternoon, we anticipate the temperature going to 78 in Roanoke. It'll be warm today. 77 in Ashland, Lineville, Widawi, Woodland. 76 in Ranburn. Talladega goes to 80 this afternoon. And Rockford tops out at 81 
degrees. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. A partly cloudy day, 78 this afternoon. will dip down to 58 tonight. Then the clouds will start to increase Wednesday morning, and by the time we get to noon, I think we're mostly cloudy. Showers and thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. Again, a handful of those storms could be strong to marginally severe. 78 will be your high on Wednesday. Showers and thunderstorms continue well into the night, I think, on Wednesday evening. We'll give you a 60% chance through midnight. And then on Thursday, a slight chance of a rain shower or two early in the morning. And then as we head out to work in school Tuesday morning or Thursday morning, I think the rain will be ending. 20% chance early. We go partly cloudy by noon and mostly sunny by afternoon on Thursday. 76, your high. 72 out there on Friday. A great day for high school football Friday night. Beautiful weekend on the way. Saturday and Sunday will be in the mid to upper 70s. And then again, maybe by Tuesday of next week, some of the coldest air we have seen uh, since last winter, quite possible, across East Alabama and West Georgia. Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar showing all clear across Alabama and Georgia this morning. We do uh, see some showers back over Texas, there around Waco, and back over to the west of Dallas, up around Wichita Falls. That would be our cold front that we're keeping an eye on, and that will continue to um, the individual storms running off to the northeast while the line itself is slowly marching off to the west. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com, where you can help support us by clicking on that donate button, such as uh, find folks over at Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. Also, we appreciate Mr. Jamie Dukas, one of our partners here on Dr. Don's Weather. If you own a business, if you're part of a civic organization or a municipal or county government and you would like to support us on Dr. Don's Weather, all you have to do is send me a message on Messenger and I can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast. Good Lord willing, if the creek don't rise, that'll be first thing tomorrow morning right here on Dr. Don's Weather. <laughs>